And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Gorgeous sunrise this start of the weekend with lots of clear skies throughout the afternoon and that sunshine did justice. The snowfall has been melting ever since those temperatures rise up above freezing today. We saw temperatures that felt more like spring rather than the middle of uh, winter. High temperatures are, have cooled down into the upper 30s and lower 40s right now. A little cooler in Anago, 39 in Menominee, upper 30s, low 40s along the Fox Valley. But we're still about 10 degrees to 15 degrees warmer right now than just this time yesterday. That flow coming in from the south really helped us bring that mild air, but it will be changing. A cold front is moving through as we speak. Winds have been, uh, have been changing out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that's going to cool us off for tomorrow. You see high temperatures just to our neighboring north in the mid-30s, Fargo, International Falls, Marquette, but here in Green Bay we got 47. So now actually the high temperature is 47. That matches the record high set back in 2007, which was 47 degrees. So uh, record tying temperatures, definitely not seasonable for this time of year. Low 50s down in Chicago. Our radar and satellite does show a little bit of some high level clouds moving down from the south, but we will remain dry overnight tonight and also during the day tomorrow. But just to our neighboring north, we have winter storm watches and winter storm warnings in effect. There is a strong system that will be bringing some pretty significant snowfall to parts of the arrowhead of Minnesota and sections of northwest Wisconsin. We'll see some snowfall as well. It's this system right now impacting the Pacific Northwest. It's going to drape across the east, across the central plains, eventually making its way into our neck of the woods. As for tonight, though, partly cloudy skies to mostly clear. Temperatures cool down into the mid and lower 20s. And then as we start off Saturday, uh, Sunday, we will start off sunny, but by the afternoon, clouds will be increasing. And you'll see as we get after midnight Sunday into real early Monday morning, we will start to see that thin band of snow lifting up northward. And then right behind it, a wintry mix. And then behind that, we got the rainfall. The warm front will lift up to the north and quickly transition that snowfall initially over to rainfall, especially along and south of Highway 29. So any snowfall that does fall down will likely melt by the time you wake up in the morning on Monday. But along and north of Highway 29, that snowfall will continue during your morning commute. So it could be a little bit of a headache for you folks driving to work. But down to the south, it will be warm enough. Now by the afternoon, enough warm air lifts to the north transition as all of us over to some rainfall and by the afternoon and evening all that moves out of the area. How much snowfall are we talking about here? Well, most of us will hardly see anything, but up to the north we could see about three to as much as six inches of snowfall and even farther to the north woods, maybe even higher than six inches of snowfall. For tonight, 23 degrees winds out of the north at about uh, five to 10 miles per hour, changing out of the northeast. Then tomorrow, 32 degrees. Monday, a bit of that wintry mix. Tuesday, we could have a few passing flurries or a light snow shower, not anticipating a whole lot of accumulation and then maybe a chance of additional light snow on Saturday. But for any of those folks wanting to do outdoor winter activities, it's not looking too good. Now you see that seven inches of snow, but then it rains. It's going to get quite icy out there, right? And as we heard, not so good today with this warm up, although it's great for people wanting to get outside a little bit. Those winter activities. Yeah, we'll That's have good. to wait. Yeah, thanks, Gino.